result of a radical new approach, this neutron generator, based on solid-state technology, is 1,000 times smaller than anything on the market and costs about 50 times less. Neutron generators typically are being made in a cylindrical fashion. And um, our challenge was to come up with um, something different, something cheaper, something that will fit in places that typically a cylinder will not fit. And um, at some point, the challenge that we brought up was, can we build a neutron generator on the shape of a computer chip? Neutron generators are used to detect and quantify the presence of different elements in a variety of materials. They're a crucial tool in many areas, including energy exploration, explosives detection, and cancer radiation therapy. Now, a team at Sandia National Laboratories has developed the Nutristor, an ultra-compact device that produces neutrons using a deuterium-deuterium fusion reaction that does not contain any radioactive or toxic materials. It opens the possibilities for applications that may represent a very dramatic change. Like for instance, nobody thinks about having disposable neutron generators on the field. They cost seventy, dollars a $100,000 a neutron tube. You're not going to dispose of it. Um, let alone not just the cost, but the material that is in there, you cannot just throw it away. It's not environmentally practical. But now you're thinking about something that you can just put in there and dispose of it. So no, it's a total change of the way you think about this. The way this works is the way, the same as every typical neutron generator works. We have an ion source of deuterium. We have a uh, drift region where we accelerate the ions, the deuterium ions. And then we have a target that is fully loaded with uh, deuterium as well. So the accelerator deuterium ion impacts the target full of deuterium and there's what we call a deuterium-deuterium reaction or a DD reaction. That produces two and a half MeV neutrons. Uh, those neutrons are the ones that are used for all the applications that we're targeting. We put a limited number of neutrons, of course, because of the size. Um, but it, at the same, that's what makes it unique and inexpensive. We're not trying to put uh, millions and millions of neutrons. We're trying to put only hundreds or maybe thousands of neutrons. The challenges that we have were mostly the ion beam lens, try to figure that out on the models and then in, the, in practice. The second challenge was to hold the vacuum in a self-contained package. We put it on a, an evacuation system. We packed, uh, evacuated this down to 10 to the minus nine tour. And then we would use a uh, pinch-off tool which would cold weld the copper tribulation, which left this under vacuum. And now you had a testable device in vacuum. And then our third challenge was to demonstrate without a doubt that we were producing neutrons. And eventually uh, we, in cooperation with Sandia California, that's when we end up with a liquid scintillator. They actually provided to us they did all the calibration and we were able to measure and the quantity that we measure is probably about 200 neutrons. That was, that's what we calculated. We ended up using their detector with our setup and it was a special orientation to our particular test device in order to measure a very low output count. Um, we implemented that, we calibrated it and we got this, the detection levels that we thought we would and that's when we started becoming successful with this particular device. It has a lot more potential than I can even think of ideas that you could use it for. And this comes from a culmination of a lot of research, a lot of pulse power, a lot of physics, and you, you combine all of these wonderful ideas, little uses together to turn around and make this technology work. It's the first step on the future of a new way of thinking about healthcare, you know, specifically cancer research and things like that. But at the same time, it's a step forward into inducing new scientists to think about applications of their technology for a more practical, inexpensive, mass-produced, environmentally friendly kind of a technology.